news. A bunch of movies. We're doing this kind of differently. This one is going up live, testing things out. We'll see if we can do this live. If so, we may do some more. Who's to say? Let's see. Let's ask Tom Atkins. But welcome, everybody. I got some multi-packs that I'm taking a look at today from our good friends over at Mill Creek Home Entertainment. They sent quite a few of these multi-pack additions to your old pal, the Creepy Kentuckian. They sent to us, including sci-fi from the Vault 4 Film Collection. There's some Ray Harryhausen goodness in this. So um, some of you old school fans may be interested in that. That's four different movies in one set with a nice slip case, baby. Slippity dippity. We're talking about those here in a minute. There's also a Thrillers from the Vault 8 Film Collection of horror movies or thrillers or whatever you want to call it. Mo I think most of these are from like the 40s. So stuff that I'm not super familiar with. I think it was Mill Creek or Brentwood or one of those companies like that that would do multi-packs, 50 movie packs, stuff like that. And those were crazy cheap. We'd see them at Big Lots, Walmart, everything else. A lot of public domain stuff. But I hadn't picked up any multi-packs on Blu-ray recently. And I got these, which I'm not super knowledgeable when it comes to some of these old movies. For instance, in the Vault Sci-Fi Collection, we have Creature with the Atom Brain from 1955. 20 Million Miles to Earth, which I have seen. It's a Ray Harryhausen movie, as is It Came from Beneath the Sea. Those were also from the 50s. And The 30-Foot Bride of Candy Rock as well that's included on that and i think this one is like 15 dollars, 16 dollars on amazon if you guys are interested in that there's two movies on each disc and it comes with a slip actually a pretty nice slip case to be honest with you and kind of the same thing with the vault of horror thrillers um, a lot of these are from the 30s and 40s the Black Room with Boris Karloff. There's a couple of Boris Karloff joints in here. The Devil Comrades, the man they could not hang. He is the man they could not hang. The Boogeyman Will Get You. It's about the WWE wrestler, the Boogeyman. Before I Hang, that's another Boris Karloff joint. The Return of Vampire, which is one that I kind of watched quite a bit of. That one's... Nice and cheesy, kind of a good Halloween watch as well. That one's one of the older ones from 1943. And The Man with Nine Lives. A lot of these have Boris Karloff. The Man with Nine Lives from 1940. And The Number Five Baby from 1951. Again, they're movies that I'm not super familiar with, but some of the old school horror fans may want to check them out. Um, so yeah, there is that. And this one, I think, is $25 for eight movies on Blu-ray. And the quality on these are actually not too bad. I was kind of shocked. Um, quality on these are pretty good, actually, all things considered. I mean, it's low-budget horror. I don't know if it was low. It probably wasn't low-budget for the time. But, um, yeah, I mean, very early days of horror from the 30s and 40s on blu-ray disc if you guys are interested in that now i'm not sure if these you know much like brentwood and york entertainment and and all those other companies did um you know releases of like public domain titles i am not super familiar if these are public domain titles or not in this edition you know either one of these editions here so um, and you guys know what Mill Creek does. I mean, it's, it's cheaper titles, multi-packs. Um, they don't really have any special features on them or anything, but if they're movies that you're interested in, I mean, hell the price on the price point on these are really good. 25 99. 
I think uh, this one's twenty five ninety nine right now, and this one's like eighteen dollars right now. The last multi pack I've got is more mainstream, and they do these things, man. Almost every month, there's a group of multi packs that come out, and I get behind, so I kind of just wanted to do one video for all these because I can't, I can't review all these movies. There's there's a lot. So this is a two disc edition with four movies on it. You guys should be more aware with these movies. You have uh, Kevin Sorbo Joint, Cole the Conqueror, The Cowboy Way, starring Woody Harrelson and Kiefer Sutherland, The Jackal, starring the legendary Bruce Willis and Richard Gere, and of course, one of my favorites in the whole set right there, Island, End of Days. I remember when they were hopping End of Days when this movie came out, like, I think it was December of 1999. Like there was all kinds of stuff around this time period. It was towards the end of the year. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Blair. So I'll bring some comments up here. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, end of days, 1999. It was one of those, you know, promoted around the millennium. Um, and it's a great movie. I think it's actually one of Arnold's best. And I think it's kind of underrated at this point. The Cowboy Way, I saw that one in the theaters. I think it came out when I was like 13 or 14 years old. And country music had a big upswing in the 90s. And Cowboy Way was kind of like, I think there was a country music inspired uh, soundtrack to that. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, none of these movies I had on Blu-ray. And this one is $12.99 on Amazon right now. So if these are movies that you enjoy, you know, Cole the Conqueror, Cowboy Way, The Jackal, and End of Days. I mean, it's kind of a weird combination of movies, to be honest with you. But um, these are all pretty decent movies from what I can recall. The uh, Jackal I have not seen in many, many years. I don't know if I've ever seen Cole the Conqueror because I'm allergic to Kevin Sorbo. So, um, yeah. Amazon has this one for $12.99, two movies, a piece on Blu-ray. These actually looked really good. Now, I'm not a video quality snob like some people, but I thought that these looked really good. And again, you know, I want to go through these because I was a little bit backed up on reviews. The four-pack of Epic Showdowns, I guess Epic Showdown action movies right there. The four pack of sci-fi from the vaults got some Ray Harryhausen goodness in it, which those two Ray Harryhausen movies I actually already had in a box set from a few years ago. Um, and creature with the Adam brain, I did not own at all. So I was excited about that. And, uh, lastly, a lot of thirties and forties horror thrillers from the vault, the eight film collection bulls. Lots of Boris Karloff. There's some Bela Lugosi goodness in this. Uh, the Black Room. You know, I know that's a classic. And Return of the Vampire. Lots of good stuff. Crazy good deals from Mill Creek right now. Wanted to hop them up and thank them for sending the stuff to review. Um, if you guys, if this sounds like stuff that you guys are interested in, I mean, hell, it's they, they can almost give, it's given away on Amazon right now. So check it out and we appreciate everybody tuning into this thing live again this may not be something i you know do very often but i had a large collection of these titles to talk about and review for you guys so stay tuned a little bit later on tonight if you guys are watching this live on deadpit on patreon.com it's me and uncle bill we are doing a podcast live so check that out and I appreciate you guys watching. Keep it creepy. And we will catch you guys next time over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. Let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. 
Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Hey, everyone. It's Oak Early Jaws. We got some great shirts for you. We got Faces of Death Part 2. We got creepy stories to tell in Kentucky. The Colonel would approve. We also got DeadPit.com. We got Dead Pit Radio with the little fucking Dead Pit dude on there. We got It Never Ends, a Halloween spoof parody of the new movie. We got It at Night. We got the Rat Pack, Uncle Rat himself. It just gets better and better. So go on and get you some shirts over at Team Public. It just gets better and better, bulls. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on. In addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar.